Good morning everybody. Let's get into today's video. So guys, before I get into today's video, you know what I'm going to say, please hit that like button, that subscribe button if you haven't already, and that notification bell, which will notify you when I've uploaded. Um, and please go check out my YouTube shorts, some crazy moments there, with my furry babies, You'll a lot of my cats and dogs, well mainly my cats, but you know. <laughs> Anyhow, so let's get into today's video what am i going to talk about you're wondering first of all i need to go to the pharmacist to pick up my medication because it wasn't ready yesterday oh geez a bit of ingestion now yeah let's get to chemist take four <laughs> sorry i've been trying to do this video and i have to keep stopping because i keep got i keep like zoning out and i just had a bath about half hour ago i've just been out of the bath for about half an hour um so and well say a bit longer because i was sat in my towel and i, I don't usually just sit in my towel um but i thought everyone's in the room i'm just gonna sit in the front room curtains closed i'm just gonna sit with, watching a bit of tv with thinking because i'm looking at you anyone else feel the same you think oh i'm gonna get a bath it's gonna help me <sighs> you get exhausted you're like Oh, God, I'm going to have to lay down. It's like, I know when you get red hot bath, you, you feel like that anyway because it's too hot. But when you're suffering with fibro and any other chronic illness, it takes it out of you. Uh, oh, my joints. I've been I to chemist before I got a bath and my prescription isn't ready. So I don't know how do you put your teeth back in. <laughs> um, I don't understand why because they were doing that yesterday and they told me to come back later so I did and it's still not ready so I'm going to give it till about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock and I'll go, ah, Millie, 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 Millie she's itching her paws digging a claw in it, it not claw, paw into me thigh um, so my challenges as a single parent, like any other single parent, you have your challenges when you've got more than one child. And not just that, when they've got special needs themselves. Now, I've got Hannah, she's autistic and suffers with depression at the minute. Thomas, I think he's got ADHD, but he won't go and get an assessment. Just I only know that because of the way his behaviour sometimes. And then my youngest, uh, she's... We're just waiting on the diagnosis, so it's autism plus ADHD. I didn't think you could get both, but obviously you can. So they've all got their own little challenges going off. And then you've got me. Yeah, that has bloody fibro and my bro. My, my bro, what's that? My bro, mental health and other other physical health problems as well. Oh, I've just reminded myself I haven't taken me vitamin D this morning. I have, however, had my, I had really bad heartburn before I got in bath, so I had a slim past <laughs> milkshake. I thought that might help just to take that oh, edge off it. I mean, it's I'm having medication for heartburn, but I'm looking it, it comes up and you feel like your face is going with fire and it sits in there, and I'm like, oh, la la. So, I mean, yeah. Anyway, that's it. So, on the morning, I have to get up which I don't really always want to do, but I have no choice being a parent, and I'm sure all the single parents understand that. Even if you don't have physical health problems or mental health problems, yeah, it is pretty hard. I'm not going to lie. And then we've all got our own problems, and then we're all like bloody arguing. Well, not arguing, we don't get that bad, but we all get frustrated with one another. Um, one minute. My flaming arms. Um, one minute, my sausage fingers kick it. They're not sausage fingers, they're like living fish fingers. I don't know what you call them, little 
twiddle at fingers. Keep going away at camera. Um, so on the morning, I don't always want to get up because it, it, it kills me. Because on the morning, that's the worst bit. My body's all stiff. I'm aching and I can't get up. And I have to like you grab the. I'm waiting for this thing that I can attach into the mattress and that. And you, it's like a bar. And you pull yourself up. Oh, my name was cracked. Uh, you pull yourself up with that. So I'm waiting on that to be delivered. And so the women are molting. Um, waiting for that to be delivered, and then that'll, be, that'll probably help. Um, then when I do get up. I don't really, I, I struggle to get dressed, I don't know if you are like that, I struggle with getting socks, clothes and everything. So that's where the kids used to come in, come in and help me. But when they're in the bed, sometimes I'll just put a, a jumper on over the top of what I'm wearing for bed. I'll just go out, go out, let the dog, Millie out, let the cats in, feed the cats, feed Millie, let Raina out, because Raina, oh, that's, oh. She's still daft as a puppy, that one. She's not, I think she's two now. But a little madam last night refused to go to the toilet. She just wanted to play tug of war with the leash. Only a bit right through it, which will rate Millie's leash uh, thingy. It's one of them, you press the button and it, it, they can run off a little bit further. Oh, great, thanks. I only grabbed that because of the first thing I grabbed. I was in a foul mood last night and yeah, that's the first thing I got in. It was racket on the street where I live. It was just motorbike noises and it was just, you know, when you've got migraine and all you, you just can't see, get rid of, get, and then all that racket anyway. So I lost my cool a little bit whilst they're outside with dogs. Um, but then I come in. I used to take my medication and then I have to sit down for a bit because that's me shattered. And then I know that I've got a pile of stuff to do and it takes me majority of the day, maybe two days, maybe three days. But then when you leave it for one day, it piles up for the second day and then it piles up the day after and then you're, you've got one big fat mess. And when you've got kids that don't really help you, when you ask them, <laughs> they'll first drop. So yesterday, I, think I showed you a clip of it in my kitchen, the mess to what it looked like afterwards. That took me forever to do. And that's what it's like majority of the day. And then I help Olivia with the schoolwork and then I have to come back down. Uh, sometimes I have to have a nap. Then if I have to go out, I have to go to the shops to pick up summer and then I'll come back and I'm worn out. That's what it's like majority of the day. And when you're only a single parent and you've got no support whatsoever, you just don't know which way to turn. And then when you've got no one to talk to as well, and you on at the end of the day and you're just feeling so down and pain and tiredness and you, you just want last night I did, I'm not gonna lie, last night I think it was about ten o'clock, I just sat and cried. Kids were in the room, the rain were in here with me because Tom had popped out. I just cried. I'm not gonna but I think I'm, you know when you the, you your kids cry a second. Talk about the water bags, it's back on outside. Might be able to hear it in the probably living with that majority of the days. <laughs> anyway, I think because it's better weather's coming out, it, it, everyone's coming out and enjoying themselves, but it, it's just, oh, you know, when you've got a headache, everything just, what's that word? It gets louder. Anyway, so yeah, last night I had a bit of a cry, um, and I'm like, who do I turn to? I've got no one. And sometimes, I don't like to turn to anybody because sometimes I feel like they use it against you later on. So it's best just to keep it inside, isn't it? Right, I'm going to go because Olivia's coming and I need to do some school work with her and I need to take some, I'm going to put one of them cool patches across my forehead again last, like I did last night see if that helps take the remainder away because you don't want to be constantly taking pain relief do you because obviously I don't think it's doing my stomach any, any good because the heartburn on me, sorry. It's so, oh, it, I swear to God, I feel like if I do that, flames are going to come out of my mouth. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you because it's getting a bit too much. I need to find a packet of parliaments or something, and I'll catch you in the next video. Don't, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button if you haven't already, and that notification bell.
it does mean a lot and comment below as well and let me know what you've done, done with your day today see you later guys bye bye